All right, some of that's we've got a very special guest here, Tristan. What's going on, mate? Oh, not much, mate. Just living the life of uh, Bargo Heights, you know. <laughs> uh, Too good. Yes. You might recognize some of the cars here. We're going to get a bit of history on this car and then this very special car as well. What's the love for Capris, mate? We know you love them. What's the, how, where did it all start? Uh, early years of summer nights, there was a tub blue, uh, blue Capri down, down there in the burnout comp. Had a big block Chevy in it. Um, just tore the shit out of the burnout <laughs> pad. And I just said, I was about 12 year old. And yeah, I just said, I'm gonna, oh, I want one of them. I'm going to get a V8 Capri one day. For, and then just, yeah, had that in my mind and ended up getting this one as, as my first car. Uh, as a 16 year old and just, it just takes that moment right and, that one yeah. moment seeing something else or uh, that's what it was yeah yeah <laughs> yeah saw a capri and that's it i want it and then i guess once you see that you aspire to build your own car yep how did this car come about um good old trading post <laughs> uh get down I, there thursday uh, at 5 a.m yeah yeah i just got my p plates uh this come up for sale so yeah went out and bought it fully Engineered Regode V8 Capri for five grand. Yeah, wow. The good old days. Bargain. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, took it down to Summon at seven. So that's how long ago it was. Um, yeah, sort of just got through, you know, the car was neat, but it wasn't neat, neat. Saw what the other cars were like down there, so brought it home, stripped it, done a yeah. sort of a two year resto. Me and my brother and a mate, Daniel Wood. Um, yeah, I mean, this car was painted 30 years ago up here, yeah, the, wow. up, up, up the road here at Bargo, and it's still the same paint job today. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. Because a lot of people think that this car is, is this that car. car yeah. So at Summer Nats 9, we had a, yeah, had a 4V Highport Clevo, um, making probably 550, 600 horsepower. So that was big back then, you know, yeah, yeah. Like, um, that was sort of 95. Um, yeah, we just punished the shit out of it down there. <laughs> Unfortunately, blew the motor up in the burnout no. comp yeah. at Summer Nats 9. After Summer Nats 9, about a month later, this one come up for sale. Yeah. It was white and um, yeah, so we stripped that, bought this one, stripped it, painted it green, da da da, done all the stuff and got it down to Summer Nats 10 and I think that's where <laughs> Everyone just thought it was the same car. Yeah. So, but um, yeah, and then this has progressed, and that's just this one's just sat and in And this sheds. car really hasn't seen a motor or anything since then, no. Oh, f a, a mate had it running okay. for a, for a bit, and but yeah, it's basically just sat in garages. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, and, and this has and, became the. And then this has became the monster that it. <laughs> <laughs> that everybody knows <laughs> that it, for, it yeah. is today. So. It, it's, and it's, it feels like it's it's uh, it's been around for so long that. I think you can talk to anybody in the car scene and they've got a story about this car. Yeah, you yeah, know? it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's done a lot of, lot of miles, you know, the, like, I tried to do as many shows and, yeah. and stuff, you know, it was hardcore drag race and burnout comps back in the day. You gotta like this thing, it's been coming for a few years, Tristan offers the uh, Mint for Is it fair to say this car has a cult following? Like, oh, I, yeah. I look, it does. look, <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, it, people love like yeah. it, it's 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 been a green Capri, you know, nothing, yeah. but it's still, I don't know. But you, you talk to people cool. in the car scene, and it seems to mean so much to them, you know. Yeah, it represents a time, yeah, of, you know, yeah. a lot uh, of badassery in the nineties yeah. and then two yeah. thousands and whatnot. Yeah. So, well, uh, you know. A lot of people. Do we call it the good old days, or does oh, that make yeah. it? Because <laughs> we are old. <laughs> yeah, no. I guess a lot of people have got a got a mincer story, haven't they? Like, yeah. You know, some of that's probably don't want to hear this, but um, yeah, we used to rip the shit out of that back campsite <laughs> on, on a Saturday night until the sun come up. You and you many know? others, mate. I'm sure if, yeah. we, if we if we banned all those people, we'd have nobody left at some of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. Right. It, it just yeah. Back it's then, just, did, you, did you envision that? You know, fast forward 20 something years, you'd still be super passionate about the car, still have the car and it'd still be mega popular. Oh, not, not really. Like, yeah. like uh, you know, you sometimes stand here and look at it and you, you, you know, you wonder how have you done it type yeah. of thing? Yeah. <laughs> How's it got here? But I guess from playing with Ravel models, you know, and yeah. you see, a, you know, you've got a tubbed one and you're like, 
I want a car with tubs and you know a tunnel rim with twin dominators. Oh, I want that. And then a blower and then <laughs> a blower and injection and then you know and. But I've I've always tried to keep it a street type car. If you know what I mean. Like yeah. I, I've never wanted it to be known as a drag car because yeah. you know like it's got every factory work and electrics on it. Um, I know there's a lot of people that'll cry and go, oh, it's not a street car, it's not a street car, yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, to me, it's just like, yeah, like, the American pro street scene yep. was a big influence on me, and that's sort of what I sort of look at. If that's what I want, that's what I'll do, you know. Um, we all know what car is legal these days, you, you, yeah. you know, they can find a defect on anything, so... If they're looking for that, you're on the wrong channel, mate. Go somewhere else. Because <laughs> yeah. I've probably just got a few more than the normal car. But. <laughs> Tell us, for those who don't know, give us a bit of a run from front to back of the car of what it stands today, what it is. Um, it's a 510 cube uh, Oldsmobile headed big block, uh, 1471 PFP injector hat. Uh, I've just had all the fuel tech system put yep. into the car. Ours race glides, Pro Mod Turbo 400. Um, Rear end and chassis done by uh, SCF race cars, Craig Burns, like 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's a freaking old, you know, it's an old car now, but it's still, you know, yep. it's, it's still all good. Um, yeah, engine gets done by Paul at ProFlow there. We've had a lot of good times, a lot of fun out the races. Yeah, you know, it's got race wheels, street wheels, um, just comfy seats. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's got all... I was standing here just before oh, admiring oh, the trim. Like yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. A lot of them now, the, the, the race sort of drags stuff, you know, even yeah. it doesn't have a lot of trim. Yeah. This being, you know, a street car. Yeah. It, yeah. The interior is immaculate. Yeah, full interior. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's what I mean. It, it's, it's a bitter of everything. Um, Paul must but, love this car as much but, as you. Yeah, like, man, it's basically, <laughs> like I said before, it's as much as his as it is, yeah. it, it, it is mine. But yeah, yeah like, uh, mate, like with the summer nuts, I haven't been for a few years, you know, life gets in the way, but I'm so excited. Like, me, the, I'm taking me two kids, the eldest ones, down with yep. me. Um, this year, so it's their first summer that's experience. When I saw the name pop up, and I'm like, I was thought about this like months ago. I'm like, we have to come talk to Tristan about the car before summer. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, everyone will be excited to have you there. Mate. Man. I can't wait to get down there, cut a few laps with everyone. What's, what's and, the vibe like when you say you get the summer nuts, you're there, you get the keys and you go, I'm going to do some laps. What's it like? Is it oh, you? you know, <laughs> it, it's just good. Like, everyone loves it. Like, you know, you go past, you give it a crack, you just see everyone's hats and <laughs> shit blow off and people love it, you know. Like, you blow people's eardrums out and they're happy. <laughs> you know? um, so, yeah, hopefully cut a few, you know, fair few laps down there. Night time, you know, they've got the, the things in the city and all that. So I'll be, mate, you'll see this. Yeah, Braden at the French Yeah, Festival, you'll yeah. see this on the streets at night. Yeah. Uh, again, you've got to live a life, you know, yeah, yeah. whether you're supposed to or not. It's, it'll, it's it'll a lot of there. people taken to the Braden French Festival. You get to yeah. go, go for dinner, park your car, admire it from a yep. restaurant or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Quite... It's just another good extension, another good idea. It's something that's Because we know it used with. to happen anyway. You know? We've sort of put yeah, the, put the yeah. ropes around and now yeah. invited a lot of special cars and it makes yeah. it... So, um, a bit we'll, of a kingdom of awesomeness. <laughs> we'll we'll uh, go down there and, and cruise around with everyone and it'll be good. Tell us uh, about some, got any crazy memories from summer nuts? Ones that, you know, you can... Oh, you know, you, you, <laughs> as like everyone says, the early years, uh, it was, it, you'd get there by Wednesday lunchtime if you didn't have a camp campsite, forget it, you know, like, yeah. and then it started, it started Wednesday lunchtime. And it was 24 hours a day for five days, like cruising, people letting off fireworks, just <laughs> burnouts, just, you know, it was just yeah. crazy. Unless you were there, you'd never believe it type of thing. So, a lot of people say that, that they make friends there and then yes. maybe you don't see them for 12 months yep. or six months or yep. you get there and it's like it was yesterday, you're yep. already there. 
definitely you know like um made a lot of lifelong friends there you know like yeah. guys from melbourne um you know jason hockter comes to you know f first one type of thing and um you know and then you meet their mates you, you, yeah. you know and then comes like family yeah and then you know because back then in you know you didn't have your facebook or you didn't have your internet or anything like that so then the only way to sort of you saw them guys was back at summer nats again you know yeah. and it was just like you hadn't you know it was only like you'd seen them yesterday but it was 12 months you know and then you'd, you'd meet more and more people and you know we we had well it's still going now but back in the day like me and a bunch of mates around here we started filming fries yeah. which is a town down the road there so it was kind of like if you grew up around here you're either into cars or you played football yeah you know yep. like there was just them two groups we all got along but that was how it is you know so um this is the southern islands it's what it, yeah yeah footy and cars yeah footy and cars so <laughs> we just had our car group and you know we we used to just go nuts around here as well you even know? i'm from wollongong so i'd spend a bit of time at the lighthouse on a sunday when you guys would show up and cruise around and yeah we knew that you know yeah yeah we we're in town the, sort of thing all oh, the, the fries are in town so <laughs> Yeah, like um, just a good bunch of guys, you know, we'd all help each other build our cars yeah. and yeah, you know, normally, you know, you'd be piecing someone's car together two, two nights out from summer nuts and then on the trailer on the way down there, you know, just to, everyone would, yeah. you know. I've seen dudes painting stuff in the car park. Yeah, that's you know? right, yeah. <laughs> Getting ready yeah. for summer nuts. Yeah. At summer nuts, yeah. Yeah, uh, good memories, you know, good memories from the friendships you make, the lifelong yep friendships i think even i say this all the time i forget all the cars for a second that's what it's all about right? friends mateship yep. you know all that kind of yep. stuff you know like it's just yeah an amazing part of this scene and a lot yeah, of people right. say about you know the car scene or say hoons or something like that yeah what it's so naive right it's so wrong you know what i mean like like car people are good people yeah we best. don't we, we i'll be biased yeah. and i'll say the best yeah <laughs> the best you know people. We ain't criminals. We're the stupid ones that go to work, earn a lot of money, pay a lot of tax, and then that money goes back into the cars. You know, like yeah. we're 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 good people. Look, we might we might be a bit cheeky and a bit mischievous, but we're not. We're not you know, we don't hurt no one. You know, providing so. providing joy for people. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the smiles you get when you drive this yeah. around, like you know, like I'll fire this up here in the driveway, and within five minutes. My phones be oh with, with street requests of people in the area they can be a couple of k's away oh this street this street make sure you come down this street yeah, your yeah. kids are waiting out the front and you know like you're not hurting anyone but I don't know it's give not, us a, give us a bit of a play by play of what it's like to race because I know we know it does six nineties yes what's yeah. it like when you're on the line what's it what, what's it like to drive um. <laughs> This is a bit of a wrestle, which I don't mind. Yeah. Because look, uh, it wasn't really supposed to have that engine in it from factory, that's for sure. So, <laughs> and it's just a standard front end from like yeah. dashboard forward. So, um, yeah, yeah, you have a bit of a fight on your hands. Like it wants to sort of go one way, you fight in the other way. But, but uh, you know, it's an aggressive drive. But it, it, it's it's you have to, you have to tell a little lot, or it's kind of like oh, oh, most of the time it just plants and goes the, yep. the, the front tire doesn't really do much work on yeah. on on the, the passenger <laughs> side because it's in the air for about three quarter track <laughs> but uh yeah look this is a whole new combo a whole new setup it's making a a lot more power than when we run the 690 so okay, it'll be interesting yeah. to see um Give yeah what what, what this yeah yeah yep. what this does you know and and you know there's options there of putting an EFI on it and doing like a gotcha, yeah. uh, doing a, a, a throttle body between rounds of the drag challenge and all that, but it's all look, it's, it's all money. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. You so know. you're thinking about doing something like drag challenge? And, oh, you know, it's yeah. always on the cards, but yeah, you know, it'll be good to see some blown mechanical cars in there. I know Tim, Timmy Laidlaw. Yeah, yeah. He's he's in, you know thinking about doing it. And, um, you know, like it's really, it's a twin turbo pro charge yeah. nitrous type thing. I think thing it'd be because, a great, great spectacle for drag charge. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, you can get between tracks a lot easier with that style of engine than yeah. something like this. So, 
I saw um, Timmy talking about it the other day, actually. Yeah. yeah. Just take it off between yeah between towns yep. and then and then run again. Yeah. Because people were asking how it was going to work, and yeah, he said, you know, I can just remove the blower. Remove the blower. Yeah, yeah, you know. Let's go. So yeah. um, yeah, yeah it'll good. be good, but um, yeah, no, I love racing this. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I guess it's one of these things, as as an owner, is it not? have a rough day, come home and sit in the garage and have a beer and just talk <laughs> yeah. to it, you know, yeah. or you can talk back yeah, to you. Yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, we, we definitely have had a few conversations <laughs> over the years. Um, uh, yeah, a few. If you haven't had a combo with your laughs, car, you're not a car Yeah, a few laughs, few tears, yeah. but um, yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it's strange in that you, like Eric Banner said in that Love the Beast, you know, people don't understand you, you form an emotional attachment yeah. with a car. You know, you you really do like yeah. um, people don't understand. Others others do understand, but yeah, like I've had this, you know, far out twenty seven, twenty eight years. I've had this thirty plus, you know, thirty plus years, yeah. and it's just like, well, I'm stuck with them, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're stuck with you. you yeah. Don't know. Yeah. Way. Yeah, so um, <laughs> no, it'd be good to get this one finished off. Yeah, I was going to say, give us a bit of a spiel about what's going to happen with this one. Yeah, get this one finished off. So yep. I've got like a proper street car, full interior, uh, 460 cube, small block Ford, twin dominators. Yep. Um, just, you know, full exhaust, just proper, proper. Um, yeah, have this one. For a, for a tough tough streeter and and then I've got uh, this one maybe you won't use the, ten liters of fuel per, yeah, per yeah. minute type yeah thing. yeah <laughs> yeah that, that, that's about yeah eight to ten liters a minute so you got to real sort of map out your journey yeah yeah um, yeah so this will be this will be good hopefully have this at next year's summer okay. nights just cars man Capris <laughs> oh, I don't know and this is your tow vehicle this is and a... that's the that'll be the tow vehicle yeah yeah so um, yeah that's just got a tough cleavo yeah. Uh, tricked up auto. So you'll see this and, lead in and, the way and this will be on the trailer yeah, on the back. Yeah, yeah, that's the plan. don't get any more, any more yeah, Ford Tough Aussies. Yeah, yeah, that'll be the plan. So <laughs> that, That's for sure. Um, yeah, man, looking forward to summer nuts. Yeah. Love it. You know, been there since I was a, a, a kid, you know. Yeah. And um, too, too old to change now. So. It's like this place where you put everyone in, shut the gates like a city for like-minded it is, yeah, car it's, people it's, for yeah, four yeah, or five days. Yeah, you know? it's its own its its own little world, you know. And, and You can't beat it. And um, nah, nah, good people down there, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like we were just saying before, just full of good people. We look, Love forward, the to car, it. look so. forward to seeing the car there, mate. Yeah, yeah, no, it'll be good. Make some noise. <laughs> <laughs>
just uh, like I say, another bad addiction. Oh well, gotta have it. Gotta, it's gotta, gotta, gotta have them. Yeah, good but bad. 